All right, so we'll end this section by looking at a few examples that apply the root test to determine convergence. Um, now, um, one of the things you'll probably find as you're working through problems is that uh, you don't use the root test nearly as often as you use the ratio test, right? 19 times out of 20, you probably go for the ratio test over the root test. Um, but there are scenarios where the root test is much more effective. Um, here's one, I think, where it's probably clear that it's easy to use the root test because an, well, an is 3n plus 1 over 5n minus 2 to the power of n. And if we want to now take that and raise it to the power 1 over n, right? Well, those two exponents, they cancel each other out, right? nth power, nth root, those cancel. We just get 3n plus 1 over 5n minus 2. Well, that means that the limit as n goes to infinity of a n to the 1 over n, well, this is rational. Same power, top and bottom. We look at the coefficients. The limit is 3 over 5. 3 over 5 is less than 1. And that means the series converges. Okay, that works out for us. Um, now, you could probably also do this using, you could try it using the ratio test. I think you would find that ratio test will also work for you. Root test just happens to be cleaner in this particular case. Okay, if we look at the next one, a n, we have n to the fourth over log n to the nth power. So again, we're going to raise that to the power 1 over n. Okay, And what we get is we get n to the 4, oops, sorry, 1 over n. Let's be careful here. We get n to the 4 over n on top. we get the natural log of n on the bottom. Uh, now, one of the results that actually, um, I mentioned this before, if you have a constant to the 1 over n, you let n go into infinity, that's typically going to go to 1. Okay, um, That's kind of clear, right? I mean, if n goes to infinity, 1 over n is going to go to 0. Constant raised to the power of 0 should give you 1. Um, it's actually also true, though, that Um, if you take n to the power 1 over n, that will also go to 1 as n goes to infinity. Okay? Um, and n to the 4 over n will just be, well, n to the 1 over n raised to the 4th power, 1 to the 4th power, still 1. Okay? Um, so if you take the limit of this one as n goes to infinity, so we have n to the 4 over n divided by log n. Um, well, this limit is going to be 0, okay? Because the top is approaching 1, the bottom goes to infinity, 1 over infinity gives you, gives you 0, right? Um, if you want to go into detail on this, you can play around with indeterminate forms, L'Hopital's rule. Um, I mean, the whole thing is not even indeterminate, right? 1 over infinity is not indeterminate. We get 0. Um, the main thing is making sure that you can see that that top is actually going to 1. Um, if this isn't clear to you, remember you can always rewrite. Let me just put this as an aside. Um, that You can always say, hey, you know what? n to the 4 over n, I can write as e to the log of n to the 4 over n, but then the 4 over n comes down, you get that, right? And if you let n go to infinity, log n over n goes to 0, e to the 0 is 1. That's where the 1 comes from. Okay. Coming to the last one, let's try the last one. 
um, a n to the 1 over n is going to be 2 to the n to the 1 over n divided by n squared to the 1 over n. So we get 2 over n to the 2 over n. And using the same reasoning as here, this is going to go to 1. That's just a 2. Um, that goes to 2. 2 is bigger than 1, right? Um, probably forgot to mention in this case here, right? Limit is 0. Well, 0 is less than 1. So that second series also converges. Um, the third one diverges, right? Uh, we get 2 for the limit. 2 is bigger than 1. Root test says it, says it diverges. Um, and by the way, for that third one, you probably in practice don't use the root test. Test for divergence, the simple test for, for divergence tells you already that this series has to diverge because if you take the limit of just the sequence as n goes to infinity, already you get infinity, right? 2 to the n grows a lot faster than n squared. The terms don't go to 0. End of story. Um, you could also do the ratio test. The ratio test would be easy to apply here. Um, but the root test also gets the job done.